All right, Tony, thank you. The Blackburn fire in the Dalles has been burning for nearly a week and has grown to 8,000 acres. But firefighters say the threat to homes could diminish today. KPTV's Joe Ranieri has this report from the Dalles. Well, that is good news for residents who have been watching the fire nervously. Firefighters still haven't said when evacuees could still be able to get the chance to go back into their home. But you can see right now there is some smoke and haze that has been filtering in to town the last couple of hours. Concern for those residents continue to grow, though. Three homes have been destroyed and several other structures since the fire broke out last Friday. The more than 8,000 acre fire was lightning caused. Last night, nearly 150 people gathered at a community meeting for an update. Residents expressed their concern about the fire, including a woman who lost her home on Mill Creek Road. Sarah Burkfield had lived at her home for the last three years. She was evacuated on Saturday, and on Sunday, the home burned down just one day before her birthday. You know, what's happened has happened, and I, I have my moments. Don't get me wrong. I break down. I cry. I've lost, I've lost a lot, but we got out with our lives. You know, I don't care about the house. I don't care about nothing else. Just give me the lives of my family and my and my animals. And so, yeah, so yeah, I'm I'm good. Sarah's mother's house, that's on the same property, is still standing. Residents say they're going to remain anxious until the fire is completely out, especially those who live along Reservoir Road. The fire is still threatening a water treatment plant that accounts for 90% of the city's water supplies. Crews have done extensive work in that area and say the chances of that plant staying open are good, but they say the threat is not over. Now, the fire continues to grow every day. The good news, though, since we've been here the last couple of hours, we haven't seen the wind pick up, but the conditions later on today will be pretty hot with temperatures getting into the upper 80s to the low 90s with that east wind picking up, too. In the Dallas this morning, Joe Ranieri, Good Day, Oregon.